Like many homeowners, Jackie O'Brien is behind on her mortgage. She bought her house near Clearwater, Florida in 2004, but in 2007, fell behind on her payments following a death in the family. I'd returned to England and uh, I was uh, sort of giving support to family members and things like this. And when I came back to America, um, I was uh, in default with my mortgage. I was behind with my payments. She says she tried on several occasions to catch up on her payments with her bank, Wachovia. She showed us a photocopy of one catch-up payment for $8,500, but the bank wouldn't accept it and is foreclosing on her property. They wouldn't take your payments after that? No, they wouldn't take my payments. That, that was it. No, no more. They didn't even want to talk to me. But in foreclosure, she discovered the bank filed a motion for lost instruments, in other words, the bank lost or destroyed the actual proof that it owns her house. I think the note has been sold on so many times and they've become very sloppy with their paperwork. It could be on a dumpster somewhere for all I know. I'd like to know who actually owns my mortgage. I'd like to know who I can deal with. I'm going to make them produce the note. She says the bank is pressing on with foreclosure and won't agree on a catch-up payment. In addition, she says they keep tacking on fees. The only way that they will do it is that if I pay them something like 20000 in fees and things, they want me to pay all these extra fees that they've thrown in on top. We contacted Wachovia to ask about the case, and they said... Due to customer privacy concerns, we cannot give specifics into pending customer actions, but we will work with customers through the delinquency and foreclosure process to keep them in their homes. O'Brien says if the bank can't find her note, they should renegotiate a new mortgage without the fees and payments she can afford. I want to pay, I'm not looking for a free ride or anything, I want to pay my mortgage, I want to get my life back on track.